Thank you for investing your time with me today to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm Cloud Technical Consultant for Microsoft Azure at Ingram Micro. And today, I'd like to talk with you about how to estimate Azure storage. All right. I've now used my favorite browser and I head over to the Azure Calculator or Azure Estimator. Usually if I put it in my search engine, it'll pop up on the top three or four links. I'm gonna add an item and I'm gonna use the products module on the left side here, storage, and then the actual storage I wanna use is, uh, is listed here. I'm gonna add that to my estimate, I'm gonna view it, and then through here, I get to add whatever storage I want to Azure in my estimate as I'd like. You've got, over 30 different regions from around the world, typically in the United States and Canada, you'd have US East, US West, US North, US South, and Central US. Up in Canada, for our Canadian friends, we have Central Canada and East Canada as regions that they can um, add Azure to. If I look down below, I've got different types of storage. I've got block blob, file, page blob, and disk, tables and queues, and managed disk. Managed disk is a new product that's been launched from Microsoft, and so you get fully managed disks that you can deploy to your Azure uh, virtual machines, and you can work through the estimate. Just keep in mind when you use managed disks that you pay for the entire disk that you're, you're having Microsoft manage for you, not necessarily just what you consume. Page blob and disk, I'm going to jump over to page blob and disk because that is unmanaged disk and you only pay for the storage that you consume and you can attach a maximum of a one terabyte drive to your virtual machine. If I scoot up to block blob, block blob in my mind's eye is, is kind of like a NAS in Azure. It's a virtual space like a warehouse. I believe it's over 150 terabytes worth of data. And so you can put your VHDs or you know anything you want up there, uh, PowerPoints, um, um, large files, I believe you know a number of different a number of terabytes in size. you can actually just push them up into uh, block blob storage. And then you can deploy out a block blob storage. So for example, if you had a terabyte or 10 terabytes worth of data that you would rather ship to Microsoft versus upload across the internet, you would actually ship the device and uh, load it into uh, block blob storage. At least Microsoft would do that for you. You also have different redundancies within Microsoft. Oh, I didn't finish off with um, file. So file storage is the ability for you to create uh, shared network resource for multiple virtual machines on Azure. There's no policy management on the network resource, uh, so you can't give uh, rights to the data that's there. It's just available to be consumed um, in a shared pool. And then tables and queues would be storage that uh, you'd use it for production uh, in regards to moving tables and queues. I think for the people that need it, you'd understand what I'm talking about. Traditionally, in Azure, what I usually work from is page blob and disk, and now the new managed disk is very cool. Data redundancy, very, very important to our customers, whether you're gonna do locally redundant storage, which is three copies of your data in a specific region. So for example, here I've used US West. I've got three copies of that data replicated in US West. GRS storage is those three copies replicated against an opposing data center 400 miles apart or greater. So US West, I believe is in California. US East is in the Virginia area. Obviously there's more than 400 miles between the two. And I'd have six total copies of data replicated real time. So it's not backup data uh, against those two opposing data centers. North, uh, North uh, US versus South US would be the other two data centers that you could take advantage of. And then read available GRS means that not only am my data replicated, so I've got six copies of it, but in the opposing data center, I have the ability to read the data um, at any given moment in time. So if I need to get access to that for DR strategies, then I would want to use our AGRS data. I also have the ability to do basic, and I believe it's premium tier storage, for whatever reason it's not popping up here. Um, or you'd have to go to manage this now, I believe. Yeah, and then you can get into the premium storage here. 
So basically what I want to be able to select, let me go back to page blob and disk. I think this is still a uh, great storage to be consumed. And again, it's consumed as you need it. So if you had, we think in regular terms, right? 250 gig, 500 gig, 750 gig, uh, a terabyte drive. So if my customer's got 324 gigs of data, I'm probably going to think of a 500 gig drive, which is fine for an estimate, it's great. But just realize when you actually put that data on Azure, you're only going to pay for the 324 actual gigs of data that you consume, not the 500 gigs. So it's like thin provisioning. So I can go ahead and I can pick as much data as I want out of here. So if I want to estimate my customer 324 gigs of data, uh, I can go ahead and do that at $16.20. There is storage transactions that will come up. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't lose any sleep in the SMB environment over storage transactions. Typically, I'd put down 10 here, which is a million, which is probably more than you'll ever use. Uh, and it totals four cents. So again, two millions, like eight cents and so on and so forth. So if you ever got to a dollar, I'd be very surprised. Um, really quickly, this is at a high level storage on Azure. Uh, you get your estimate over here so you can see the price. Purchase options, once again, if you're going to purchase through Microsoft, you can go through those purchase op options. To purchase through Ringer Micro, we just love for you to be able to export the estimate out or talk with our sales team, and uh, we can help you there. <clears throat> Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I uh, hope you learned a little bit about Microsoft Storage on Azure. Understand that there was a lot of information to give. There's a lot more to be able to give, and maybe I'll break it down in future videos. But at this point, have a great day, and uh, we'll see you around.